Hi friends, welcome to Leslie's Living Room. Today you can see we're inside because I was a little chilly. So I put on my sweatshirt. So today I'm going to wear my sweatshirt because I want to be warm and cozy while I read stories to you. I hope wherever you are, you're nice and warm and cozy. All right, are you ready? Today I have for you Giggle Giggle Quack by Doreen Cronin and illustrated by Betsy Lewin. Now we read a story very similar to this the other day. And if you haven't seen it yet, you can go watch it another time. It was called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. And there's the duck right there in the in the story is on this story too. And the cows are too. So I want to read this story to you today. And don't forget, I'm going to read the, picture, the stories first. Then I'm going to turn the pictures around for you to see. So please be patient. All right, are you ready? Turn on your listening ears. Turn up the volume. All right, here we go. Giggle, giggle, quack. Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother, Bob, in charge of the animals. I wrote everything down for you. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. But keep an eye on that duck. He's trouble. Farmer Brown thought he heard giggles and snickers as he drove away, but he couldn't be sure. Did you see what duck found? What did duck find? You're right, a pencil. Mmm, thinking face. Mm. Wonder what's gonna happen with that pencil. Let's see. Bob gave Duck a good long stare. Mm. And he went inside. He read the first note. Tuesday night is pizza night. Not the frozen kind. The hens prefer anchovies. Giggle, giggle, cluck. See? Yep, the duck has what? The pencil. All right. 29 minutes later, there were hot pizzas in the barn. Look at the cow that's licking its lips. Oh, that's so funny. Bob checked on the animals before he went to bed. Everything was just fine. In the last story, they asked for electric blankets. Do they have the electric blankets in this story? Yes, they do. Wednesday is bath day for the pigs. Wash them with my favorite bubble bath and dry them off with my good towels. Remember, they have very sensitive skin. Giggle, giggle, oink. Who's right behind Bob with his pencil? You're right, the duck. Mm -hmm. Wondering. Bob had all the pigs washed in no time. It's Farmer Brown's good towels, and there's two pigs underneath it, and one in the bubble bath, one pig in the bubble bath, and one being dried off by Bob. That's so Farmer Brown called home Wednesday night to check in. Did you feed the animals like I wrote in the note, he asked. Done, Bob replied, counting seven empty pizza boxes. Did you see my note about the pigs? All taken care of, Bob said proudly. Are you keeping a very close eye on duck, he asked. Bob gave Duck a good long stare. Duck was busy sharpening his pencil to notice. Too busy. Just keep him in the house, ordered Farmer Brown. He's a bad influence on the cows. Giggle, giggle, moo, giggle, giggle, moo. Giggle, giggle, oink, giggle, giggle, quack. Mm. 
What comes after Wednesday? You're right, Thursday. Thursday night is movie night. It's the cow's turn to pick. Giggle, giggle, moo. I wonder what the cows are going to pick. Bob was in the kitchen popping corn just as the animals settled down to watch the sound of music. The phone rang. The only thing Farmer Brown heard at the other end was giggle, giggle, quack, giggle, giggle, moo, giggle, giggle, oink. Uh-oh. Duck! screamed Farmer Brown. It's for you, Bob, the note says. Farmer Brown look happy coming home from his vacation? <laughs> no, it looks like he's frustrated because the duck wrote all those notes and got Bob to do all kinds of silly things. I hope you enjoyed that book today. I know I did. And so, don't forget, wash your hands front, back, back, in between. It said front, back, in between. Don't forget those thumbs. Don't forget those fingernails. And don't forget to do that for 20 seconds. Count to 20 real slow. Well, you can sing happy birthday two times through, but if you get bored with happy birthday, you can ask your family to look up some songs on the internet to wash your hands by. There's lots of 20 second songs to wash your hands by back out there. They're really cool. Also, don't forget if you have to cough or sneeze <coughs> into your elbow, and if you have long sleeves on it, it's fine as long as it doesn't get slimy. If it gets slimy, you might want to change your shirt. If it's just a little cough or sneeze, then that's fine. But if you have short sleeves on, I would wash that area with soap and water so we don't spread germs. All right, and don't forget, if you have to, if you feel that feel it, runny feeling down your nose, if you feel like you have to pick your booger, don't do it with your finger. Don't lick your nose. Don't lick your lip to get the stuff away. Don't wipe your nose down your sleeve. Get a tissue, wipe your nose, or use it to help you pick the booger, or blow your nose, get the stuff out, wipe your nose off, throw that in the trash, wash your hands, front and back, back, in between, front, back, in between, and don't forget those thumbs, don't forget those fingernails, don't forget under the jewelry, I forgot that last time. All right, my friends, 20 seconds, count slow. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.